Welcome to Symantec's video tutorials for SSL certificates. Today we will be looking at how to generate a CSR for Apache servers. Let's begin from a command line where you have OpenSSL available. The first command line we will run will create the private key file. Note that the private key file will be needed for installation when you are approved and issued the SSL certificate. Type OpenSSL, gen RSA for the algorithm, now dash dash 3, which will give the private key a password to protect the file. You may omit the DES3 option if you do not want to associate the private key with a password. However, Symantec highly recommends that the access to the server be restricted to only authorized server admins if the DES3 option is omitted. Dash out, then specify the private key file name and its path of where you wish to save it. In my example, I will not be specifying a path and therefore the file will be saved to the directory I'm currently working on. I'll name the file private key with a dot key extension. Now type 2048 for the bit length and hit enter. Note that Symantec no longer supports 1024 or less bit lengths. Since I used the DES3 option in this example, I'm being prompted to specify a password. As you start to type the password, you will notice that it may seem like nothing is being entered. Not to worry though, OpenSSL is still recognizing your keyboard entries, so please keep typing. Once your password has been verified, your private key file will now be created. Be sure to keep this private key file and its password somewhere safe as you will need this file later for installation of your SSL certificate when issued. Now we will be generating the CSR based on the private key file we just created in step 1. Using the OpenSSL command line again, type OpenSSL req dash new now dash key then specify the private key file and its location. Because I saved my private key file in the current directory I'm working in, I'm able to use just the file name without specifying the path. Type dash out and specify the CSR file name and the location where you want to save the file. I'll enter request with a .csr extension. Now hit enter. If you specify the password for the private key, you will be prompted for it now. OpenSSL will now ask a series of questions for which the certificate you are requesting will be issued with. This information is otherwise known as the distinguished name. Enter a two-letter country code without any punctuation for the country name. Next, do not abbreviate the state or province name as it must be completely spelled out for this field. Now enter a city name as the locality. The organization name. Here you want to use the legal business name that your company is registered as. The organizational unit field is optional, but can be used to help identify certificates. You may skip this organizational unit field if you wish, but in my example, I'll enter IT department. The common name field is where you enter the fully qualified domain name. This would be the host name plus the domain name. Do not enter an email address for semantic enrollments. Hit the enter key to bypass this field. Also, do not enter any extra attributes being asked. Hit the enter key for both the challenge password and the optional company name to bypass these fields as well. Hit enter once more to create the CSR file. Let's now view the CSR to be able to use it for your certificate enrollment. Type VI, then the path to your CSR file. Mine is in the current directory I'm in, so again, I do not need to specify the path. Here is the CSR text that you can now use for your certificate enrollment. That's it! Thanks for watching our tutorial videos. For further support and troubleshooting, please visit our SSL support pages at semantech.com forward slash help.